Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be reviewing yet another Doctor Who Series 8 product and this time it's the 12th Doctor Touch Control Sonnet Screwdriver which was released about a month ago now. It's been released in multiple different versions over the last three months I do believe but I've personally waited until the sort of last one has came out so I can see which one I think is the best out of them all because my dud one, as I will go into later, sort of needs someone to step in place of that and retire I guess. So yeah, this is the new one. Hopefully it'll live up to my standards. So yeah, let's take a look at the packaging. The packaging itself is following the same 3.75 style which has been seen on all of the new Series 8 products. So we have the Doctor Who logo, the 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver and then a small writing touch control, the American safety sticker with the character options logo. This has all got that yellow effect on. Taking a look up, we have this removable thing, which is a sticker on the actual plastic saying removable power car. Oh, God. And then we've got new touch control sonic screwdriver. And then we also have electronic lights and sounds. This all comes in this rather weird shape that nobody knows the name of. Much like the 3.75 ones have gone with this rather messy style design. I don't know if I like it or not. And then we've got Extends. In case you don't have no clue what Doctor Who is or haven't got a clue of what a sonic screwdriver looks like, they've put that additional information on there just so you know it actually moves up and down. So at the top we have the TARDIS logo, 5+, plus, and that's all we really have there. Taking a look at the back, we have all some legal information and how to put batteries into a sonic screwdriver. And now let's take a look at the product itself. So here we have the sonic screwdriver itself. Now this basically takes on a pretty similar sculpt to the original version, and I've purposely not got any of the ones since the original version, because quite frankly all of them have been a load of junk, including that horrible Wave 2 version. So yeah, this is the next next one that I thought might at least stand a chance to beat my original version. So yeah, the original had a lot of different sound effects that unfortunately died in the first month of mine, and um, this one does seem to be quite good. It doesn't actually have the bonus sound effects that the original one had, but yeah, it is alright. It does have the same sound chip as the standard Wave 3 ones, so like the 8th Doctor Sonic and things. And I do believe a few other bonus variants that have been released since of different Sonic screwdrivers. So yeah, it does actually follow the same sound chip as that. A little bit disappointing in that respect, really. Would be nice to see some other sound effects, maybe some Series 8 ones. But yeah, you can't have everything. And that is character options for you. You literally can't have everything. Starting off at the top, the very emitter of the sonic screwdriver, this has actually had a few changes since the original. As you can see, the claws do actually tend to be standing out a lot more from the actual bulb. Personally, I would have rather them been a lot more compact in like that, like how the original was, and I will actually go into a comparison with that later. The actual emitter inside does look the same. I believe it might just be slightly darker than the original, but the actual light inside, as I will come on to later, is actually a bit brighter from what I can remember. Moving down to the collar of the sonic screwdriver, this has also seen a few changes from the original, but does keep the same effect that was on the original, so it does retain that same detail. So here we do have on either of the silver plating, we have these lovely bits of grating material around the sides, very mesh-like and metal effects, I guess. And then just below those, we have some individual little fixed screws on either side. I do really like them as it does sort of make it look like a, ma a mechanical device. And those do also take place on the bottom of the emitter as you can see. I do believe that these actually do do something and do keep some parts in place. So yeah, it's sort of doing two jobs at once. Going down to the actual handle of the sonic screwdriver, this is where we see the changes and the main name of this sonic screwdriver come into play. See, as you can see, this has seen some changes from the original and therefore it looks a bit different. So yeah, we have the same leather effect that goes all the way around here, as you can see. It would have been nice if this maybe had a bit more of a battered effect, because I do believe it has been a bit battered since series 6 onwards, I do believe, as this is sort of the 12th Doctor sonic screwdriver. Um, so yeah, it would be nice to see if bits of battered parts on here, or even where where we have these ties down the leather, it might have been nice to have a bit of white in there or something to sort of see excess material or something. So yeah, as you can see, we only have one button now. That's because it is sort of like the single button Sonic, but only having the single button 
bits of inside the Sonic, I guess. So yeah, I only don't, well, I actually only have this in the original, as I said. So yeah, and this basically takes on the programming from the single button version, but makes it slightly better. So yeah, as you can see, we have the extendy button there, which makes it extend. And then going down to the bottom of the handle of the Sonic screwdriver, exactly the same sculpt it looks like. Yeah, we've just got this standard white bit that I always think has looked pretty bland, really, on these. And yeah, it's just really gold at the bottom there. And then we... Uh, yeah, we have the ugly battery compartment. I do actually like the well the idea of what they've done. They've hidden the battery compartment in your hand when you're holding it. Yep, fair dues, that's all right. But it would be nice if they kept to the same standard sculpt from last time and literally having it removable from here, just like how it is with the River Song Sonic screwdriver. Then the company information and the battery compartment was totally away from the actual product, and it actually made it look a bit more like a replica than just a toy. So yeah, we just have a bit of legal information on there that nobody likes. Um, it's just the standard coppery effect from last time. So yeah, the amount of ticks in this review, I am now going to go on to the actual features. So yeah, as you can guess, there is that button missing there. I will come on to that in a second. But as expected, there we are. It extends. If you put that in someone's face, you could literally poke their eyes out. So yeah, just pressing the standard button as always there, as you can see. Ooh, I bet that was exciting for you. This just basically opens this piece, as you can see. Exactly the same as last time, so the claws spring open. But this time, as I said, these claws do tend to be a lot more flimsier. And generally, when you do this with it, as you can see, it shakes. Ugh. And yeah, basically in here, we have this basically the green piece. This then leads up the wire, as you can see in there. If we just get a focus on that, you can actually see the wire inside, which I don't really mind. And you can also see the remains of a little spring in there. And this one does actually tend to be rather powerful. And if you actually did aim that at someone, there you are. That's someone's retina blasted out. So yeah, it is. Can you stop buzzing? Since it's getting very excited, we're now going to go on to the main feature. To activate this sonic screwdriver, you press this piece here. What? There is nothing there. What witchcraft is this? See, this is basically the touch control, as you can see. Basically, it has no button. Well, the button is actually underneath the plastic piece. Oh, I'm guessing this will be rubber, so you could sort of have it easier. Um, It is all right. It's sort of a work in progress thing. I'm guessing they will probably release this again in the future, maybe with a bit of a better touch control. But yeah, it is all right, I guess. And sometimes when you do actually press it, it doesn't actually work. But yeah, let's blast through the sound effects. Same as normal, really. There we are. Standard buzz. Other standard buzz. And then if we press down three times, which on these is actually quite difficult, I'll be honest. One, two, three. There we are, like that movie sound effect, I do believe that's from. And then pressing down four times. As you can see on the fourth sound effect, the buzzer on the actual light does actually flicker a lot. I do like that effect actually, as it does give it a bit more life and make it look a bit more interesting. So now you've finished poking someone's retina out, you'll probably be quite bored with this feature now. So yeah, now we're going to go on to the next thing, basically popping off the end cap. Stop annoying now. There we are. Popping off this end piece basically shows this hollow bit inside and reveals this glorious piece of stuff. Here we are, it's a thing. So yeah, this uh, basically has the end cap of the actual Sonic screwdriver on. And then as you can see, we have a bit of nice detailing on this actually. So as you can see, we do have a bit of circuitry and things in there, and the silver lining. Very nice, and that is it for this thing. It's apparently a power car for some reason. I don't know what it's meant to do, but yeah. That was fun. So as I mentioned at the start of the review, I need a replacement for, for my original 2010 Sonic screwdriver. Basically, if you found my channel for a while, you will know that I got the original that came out in 2010 in celebration for the 11th hour. And the original batch of these actually had an error, where after about a month, the sound chip totally cut out, some people's lights even cut out. So this left me with a Sonic screwdriver with only a light, and that was it. And I've put up with that since 2010. 
10. But I wasn't actually going to pay the extortionate prices on eBay for a Sonic screwdriver that actually did this. So yeah, I waited for a while, and then back in June, they released this Sonic screwdriver again. And I thought then, oh no, wait, they're going to release it again, but with probably new special features, because the 12th Doctor has the exact same Sonic screwdriver. So yeah, I waited out once more until more came out, and then this finally got released. And I thought that this finally would be probably the one that could outrun this Sonic screwdriver. And as I said, there has actually been a few differences. Starting up at the top, I can see the claws do actually seem to be a bit of a lighter colour. Um, which is alright, quite accurate actually, or at least on mine anyway, they do seem to be a little bit lighter. Going down to the actual piece here, as you can see, this is a lot more of a bronze rather to this silvery bronzy thing. So yeah, it's a lot darker, which I do believe once again is accurate. Moving down, obviously, we have the exact same difference without the button, which is nice. And I do sort of like this idea of not having that button there, which does leave these two black lines running down there, which I'm guessing is probably weaker material, so it's easier to press the button. But then, because of this, we do have the battery compartment down here. It would have been nice if you could do that with this version and then have the batteries just in here, like how the original was. You actually needed to ditch that version, as seen on this one, no company information at all, because of this silly little power core in the bottom. Now I don't exactly know what this power core is meant to represent, some people think it's meant to be that pill from Into the Dalek, but yeah it doesn't really have a use, and if it had a use I will probably be, you know, I will be fine with it. But it's the fact of this now has prevented this piece being discarded underneath the actual plastics, yeah. If there was a reason of having just this standard Sonic but having the battery compartment of this, that would be brilliant, but yeah, we do have the annoying battery compartment which is just a little bit ugly for me. But yeah, it would be nice if they could have got around that somewhere, but I had a quite a cool idea yesterday. I don't know if it would work, but having this as a USB, actually, you'll probably need to pay more money for the actual memory stick itself. But having this bit as an unpluggable memory stick, and it probably would be too small as well, but still, I had that idea, I was happy for a few minutes, or even having the memory stick up here. Wow, I think I've came up with an idea there, guys, what do you think? But yeah... Overall, it is alright. The detail is really good, but I do think this one also has a better build quality. I said it had a better build quality, and now... Uh... That said, this original Sonic screwdriver here does actually seem to be a better build quality. It generally feels like there's a lot more there, and I'm guessing that's probably because of the circuitry actually inside the thing. But this version just tends to feel a little bit weaker and a little bit more lighter. And I do believe that this is probably because of the non-removable battery compartment area. And as well, as I said earlier, when you actually open the thing, it does tend to rattle, as opposed to this one when you open it. It doesn't So rattle. overall for this Sonic screwdriver, I guess it's a nice addition to the collection. My main purpose personally was to get one to replace my old 2010 version, but still have that extendable effect and at least it looks okay. And yep, it ticks those boxes. It generally looks alright and the features are okay too. But I do think the idea of that little memory thing or whatever it is at the end, if that actually had a use, I may be alright with having the battery compartment on the side. But because it generally doesn't have a use, at all. We've then needed to forfeit having the battery compartment in sight rather than being disguised like last time. But yeah, overall it has some nice features and it would have been nice to maybe have the old sound chip as I can remember that having at least 10 sound effects, I do believe. But I, as I said, I've not been able to have those sound effects since 2010 so my memory is sort of a bit fizzy on that. So yeah, overall for this product, it is alright. I got this from my local entertainer for £15 and the reason why I'm saying that is because my and Planet decided to add an extra £5 on. So if you would like to get this product, I would definitely recommend shopping around for it to get the cheapest bargain out there. Because at the end of the day, it's a Sonic screwdriver and there isn't really that much change since the last billion that's been released. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave it below and I'll be sure to answer it at some point in the near future. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe if you're not already and I shall see you all in my next video. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye for now.